Imagine you're out, perhaps on a nice summer's day. From afar, you see art, mural-sized. You're curious. You draw nearer. There is something familiar in those shapes. Your eye follows across and through the image. Close in, you enjoy the details and the intricacies. What is this? And what is it saying? Some months ago, I was invited to pitch an idea to TEDx Langara for a talk on the theme of the way forward. I've been creating art that reflects on urban infrastructure, including this piece entitled Spaces Between, which is entirely focused on freeways. That's what you're looking at here, an image composed of freeway interchanges from around the world knit into a fantasy landscape. So freeways, the way forward, how could this not work? I'm in, I said. That might have been just a bit hasty. When you look at the art, it doesn't have much forward in it. It seems like a confused mess. In my defense, I never intended the piece to address this theme. I made it because I thought it would look cool, interesting, intriguing. Ideally, I just wanted to point at the image and give you a chance to experience and ponder it for yourself. I hesitate to say too much about the piece. I don't want to falsely create an orthodoxy about what it means. I don't want to suggest that there's just one idea behind it. I don't want to prejudice people's feelings and thoughts in response to it. I'm mostly interested in how the piece speaks to people, how they see it in ways that I hadn't intended and hadn't imagined. This is why I showed you the image first. I want to leave it open to interpretation, to give you just a, a short moment to form some of your own reactions and responses before I say anything. So just to be clear, I do not know the way forward. But I do think it is something worth thinking about, something worth reflecting on. Either as a question or as a statement, it suggests that we are at the start of a journey where the route and the destination may not yet be clear. So as an abstract artist, here are some of my abstract thoughts about the way forward. Let's go on a free flowing journey into the big picture. You may first have noticed that the piece is large. The subject matter is large, so the art is large. It's also very detailed. It's both grand and at the same time, intricate. This communicates to the viewer that despite its immense size, it is an image of a large thing shrunk down, not a small thing magnified. Here's an image of a very large interchange complex in Springfield, Virginia, outside of Washington, DC. This short sequence shows how this massive in infrastructure is integrated into the piece. We are pouring seas of concrete. It's about as mundane and common as you can get, but there is growing concern that we are running out of the raw materials necessary to create it. Not just any sand or gravel will do. The grains and the rocks need to be appropriately shaped, or both the concrete and the structure will fall apart. These materials are becoming less readily available, and their cost is rising. So, we're going further afield and engaging in more destructive practices, such as digging up rivers, in order to acquire the materials needed for our roads, buildings, and other structures. We also leave all of this concrete sitting outside, where weathering and heavy use cause it to deteriorate. They need costly maintenance, and politicians generally don't find much support for campaigns built around spending billions to repair cracks. Moreover, the looming world of autonomous vehicles is going to force reconsideration of all of our transportation systems. We're just at the beginning of seeing what this looks like. Big questions hang over this element of our cities. And as we move forward, 
What is their role in keeping us moving forward? One wonders how soon this might become a representation of our past rather than our future. The picture presents scale to us in less concrete ways as well. If you're far enough back to see the whole image, you can't see the details. If you're close enough to see the details, you can't see the whole image. All maps are generalizations. The more area a map displays, the more it generalizes. To claim a perspective on the big picture necessarily means that you are generalizing about the details. No one can see and understand the entire world from their singular perspective. I'm wary of anyone who suggests that they can see both the big picture and all of the details at the same time. Anyone who claims they can see the one way forward. The details of spaces between are derived from images of freeways and freeway interchanges. A particularly elaborate form of road building. They promise rapid speed and unimpeded movement. No slowing, no stopping, no sharp turns. One can just flow to their destination. When imagining the way forward, I think we often see a clear road lying ahead, free of traffic and disappearing into a hope-filled horizon. The image of the open road is appealing, but it lacks for realism. I hope this isn't pure pessimism, but spaces between might be a more accurate visual metaphor. Things don't always work as we imagine they might. Things don't always flow along. There will be obstacles, unplanned stops, wrong turns, detours, idiot drivers, and congestion. Most journeys are not continuous straight lines. Most journeys require changes of direction, choosing between multiple available routes. We need to decide what path we're going to follow, what path we're going to leave behind. The open road is an appealing image because it dangles in front of us the hope of stress-free decisionlessness. I'm not sure that road exists. Moving forward seems full of decisions. Decisions arising from more interconnectedness, more complexity. There is more world available to us each day, offering us more, but also asking more of us too. Commonly, we have been told the world is getting smaller, a global village or a little blue marble. I think these analogies confuse smallness with nearness. The world has gotten nearer, closer in, not smaller. Nearer means faster. Nearer means more. More opportunity, more options, more connections, more information, more goods, more ideas. And more of what we'd like less of, crime, pathogens, carbon. The world has gotten bigger. Morer. Why else are there industries built around easing the burdens of decision making? Algorithms, subscriptions, favorites, playlists, consultants, and of course, our GPS for navigation. We are so much richer in our access to virtually everything. We create an incredible range of choice and then we make machines to make the decisions for us. If this landscape looks stressful to you, I agree. A landscape filled with near, uh, nearby opportunity demands attention and careful thought. Freeways make distant places nearer. Digital networks make all things adjacent. Our technologies bring Las Vegas beside Chongqing. Valencia connects to Louisville. Toronto is adjacent to Riyadh. While this opens a world of new places to us, it also risks severing our connection to nearer things, local things. While a newly constructed freeway brings many far places close, the nearest of places can be made further apart. 
The people on either side of this newly constructed road in Guangzhou, China, now live a little further from each other. And they are more easily bypassed. Things that connect can also sever. You'll notice that Spaces Between does not contain roads, only their outline. There are no lines that cross paths. Each shape is independent of the others. These are the spaces between. The spaces between the roads are the reasons we have roads. They are where we live, work, play, and everything else. The roads exist to get us to the spaces between. In the early stages of developing the piece, there were only interconnected freeways and interchanges. Conceptually, there was just flow. Perpetual motion. When there is only freeways, there is no place to stop. This did make for some interesting statements, but it was dissatisfying to me. Disconcerting. Exhausting, even. Flow is pointless without the ability to arrive somewhere, or having somewhere to depart from. With no place to start or stop, the spaces were rendered inaccessible. The map was placeless. The spaces between were to be eternally driven past. That was until I noticed the freeways of Spain. There I found wonderful ornaments, little flourishes in the form of roundabouts. While allowing me to maintain the principle that guided the shapes, rapid motion, no impediments, broad curves, these shapes allowed a means to arrive, to come to a rest. One can imagine something being drawn in, a little vortex, a place to exit the network and enter into the space between. Visual ornamentation for sure, but also a place for the viewer's eye and the journeyer to find rest and to start anew. The roundabouts gave the lines a place to go, a destination. In principle, had the image not included the roundabouts, I could have filled the entire piece, driven the entire network with one journey, one line that traveled through all of the roads. Roundabouts added through the piece, created places where the lines, where the journeys, were made to stop. A place where they entered spaces between and came to rest. No single journey can now travel all roads. No single journey can cover the entire map. To travel all the roads, you need countless individual journeys. Guidelines that I had been using to join the interchanges naturally began to present themselves as their own unique picture, crossing each other, coming alongside of each other, parting ways, and maybe reconnecting elsewhere. Each journey a blending of colors, each traveling its own unique path, each its own length, each starting in one place and ending in another place. Not one of them a straight line, each one finding its own way forward. The same image, but a new image at the same time. The same world, but seen from an entirely different vantage. New image, new feelings, new stories. Spaces between is a map of potential, an array of infinite possible pathways. This picture, Journeys, imagines its fulfillment. I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of the way forward as inspired by Spaces Between. You won't remember all of these thoughts, but maybe one will linger. Bring perspective as you start a new journey. Each day, we all, collectively, try to set a course to a better future. Each day brims with potential. As we wind our way through a landscape of intersections, the map is open to interpretation. We are driving down a road at night with our headlights on. We can't see too far ahead, but we can see enough to keep going. As we travel, we need to accept that there will be detours and impediments. There will be lots of course corrections, requiring a lot of decisions. We will reach far, but let us not forget where we are from. 
And if we don't ever stop and rest, we're not really going anywhere. Once in a while, we need to have the courage to go backwards and start again. And let us appreciate that the picture is complete at its most beautiful when it is composed of all the journeys together. Thank you for this opportunity.